So you just found out that MPC Beats is really dope for sampling, but you don't really know how to. Let me show you how. Hi, does. What's up everybody, it's your boy SFMZA bringing you another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to sample in MPC Beats. Not wasting too much time because this is a pretty straightforward tutorial. The first thing you want to do is open up an empty project click load project. Once your project is loaded like that, you want to go to track view. In track view, you'll notice that you have a single program as well as an audio track. We are going to focus on the program. So you just want to go ahead and first rename it. I'm going to name it sample. Now we've named our program. If you come here to the drop down, you'll notice there's sample and unused. Unused can be the next one. Once you've selected your program like that, you want to switch over to the sampler and then you want to go to the right of your screen and click on this file browser here. If you know where the files are that you want to sample you just want to click down here go hard drive and then navigate to that sound my sounds are in users music and then project fields and then i have here inception ultimate kits i'm going to go to the melodies and then i'm going to click on melodic loops without bass if you guys are interested in downloading the sample pack you can do so on my website i've got a free beta on there that you can grab any time that you'd like click on melodic loops now let's find a sample that we like Now there are generally two ways that I know you can sample an MPC beat. You have the record option where you can play something into your MPC beat using your line in microphone or what have you. As you can see here, it's picking up my microphone. So in this instance, if I click record, it's going to record my voice. And then when I click stop, it's recorded my voice. Obviously it's recorded in stereo. That means the mic is recording to the one side. If you would like to switch it to mono, you just click on the input and then you go to the input that you want to use so I click input 2 which is my microphone right now and you want to change that from stereo to mono and then now when you record it's going to record in a mono track for example like this and then when I click stop that's the new audio track this helps if you want to record in your guitar you want to record in a piano anything really that you want to sample within MPC beats I'm just going to discard that so I can show you the second way to sample the second way to sample is my favorite. We found the sample already, so I'm going to double click that. And then when you've double clicked like that, you want to scroll to the side unless your screen is big enough to show you everything. And then you'll see your sample here. It's at 80 BPM D minor. So you can either sample to the BPM itself. I'm going to drag that down to 80 BPM. Okay, I dragged it down to 80 BPM just to make just to make things easier to manage. Right then you want to double click on the sample itself again that way it opens up the sample in your sampler now in order to sample this you want to click on chop and then you'll see here that it's got your first slice here so if i click this slice it starts recording second slice third slice slice easy right then you've sliced the parts that you want so if you play slice one you can fine tune this by zooming in obviously and then dragging it to where you want the sample to end so for example if i ended there too prematurely i'll just grab this red one and bring it to where I think it ends properly. The other way that you can sample is simply by clicking chop like we did earlier on. And then where it says chop to manual, you've got four options that you can use to chop with. I like the BPM one because then it keeps it within pocket with the BPM. So you click on chop to BPM. Once you've chopped to BPM, you'll notice that it's sliced everything according to the BPM. So it's... Mm -hmm. 
So say you've done the chop to BPM, but you're not really happy with how it chopped it. You can change things like the amount of beats here to, for example, four, three, you just change the time signatures and it'll play around with that. Let me just put that back to four, like so. And then you can also change here from one to 16 to one to eight, which also changes the length of the samples themselves. And most of the time, if your BPM is right, it chops the sample perfectly for you. And then you want to come here to new program. And if you're happy with everything, you're just going to click do it. Now it's created your program. If you slide to the side here, you'll notice there's a new program called close 80 BPM. Now, the next thing that you want to do is go to track view in track view. You'll notice on sample, it still says program 001. That's not what we want because that's not what we've created, right? We want to click on close 80 BPM, which is our new sample that we created. And then you'll notice that it's mapped perfectly to your pads. We can agree that was pretty simple right anyway if you stuck around until the end of the video i appreciate you please do hit that like button and that subscribe button as well if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll be seeing you in the next video peace